Hi everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So as you guys have probably seen in a couple of other videos, I've been trying foods from different fast food places and my husband Nikolai here. Hello husband. Hello wife. Make your appearance. He has decided to bring me, well you were going to get me Chick-fil-A. Okay, so well, I was going to get Chick-fil-A, okay. but I realized last night that today is Sunday and they're closed. They're closed on Sundays, so forget Chick-fil-A, and I thought he was going to get me Carl's Jr. I was going to get you Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. I have them all confused. I go from a woman who does <laughs> not eat at any of these establishments to literally eating it and kind of liking some of it all the time. Literally. So this is, what is it, Burger King? I got you Burger King We got Burger instead. King instead. Okay, he told me not to eat a single thing. I am starving right now. Let's start with our drink. I don't know what this is. What is this? Okay, so I got one too. Okay. It's not my favorite. It's an iced mocha coffee. It's kind of bitter. Not bad. Oh, I like no. bitter things though. Oh, I don't. You like them more sweet. I used to like sweet when I was younger, but now I like bitter. Mm. What would you rate okay. that? Mm, it's too sweet for me, believe it or not. <laughs> it is kind of sweet though. So it's like an eight out of 10, but not bad. Not bad. I and mean, then you got food for yourself in here too, right? Yes. Okay. Napkins. Ooh, this actually looks kind of good. Which one's yours? That's definitely yours. Really? Oh, no, that's mine. No, that's okay. You got, oh, you got me the Whopper with cheese. Okay, so his is the crispy chicken. I don't eat meat. You do not eat meat. Or beef. Here's some ketchup. You need a plate, Nick. Here's your, fr he got fries. <laughs> Let me go get a plate. Just because we're eating fast food doesn't mean we don't need a plate. Make it bougie, Nina. Let's make it bougie eating. By the way, hold on. By the way, Nick, I get comments about these plates all the time. For all of you out there who want to know where I got these plates, they're, they're from Italy. And I don't know if you can ever buy them. I don't know where. Wait, why do we need plates? Abigail's Italy. That's where I got them from. Because I get, everybody's like, where'd you get these plates? You don't want a plate? No, you use the wrapper. I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> These fries are so cute. Look at how they come. So to confirm, yes, you don't mind mayonnaise or ketchup in your burger. Um, I don't mind it, but if I were to order it myself, I probably would not get mayo. Oh, that's funny because she asked, "Do you want?" Ma and I don't get mayo for myself. Yeah. She goes, I go. She loves mayo. Ah! <laughs> All right. Let's see. So you guys, we have some ranch here. We have some ketchup. I don't like barbecue. Is that for you? Oh, yeah. Ready? One. Mmm. Good. So I got you the Whopper because I was like, oh, that's the most famous thing there. I've never tried it. It's actually really good. It's really, really, really good. And I kind of like the mayo in there. You know, so I do like mayonnaise, you guys. Don't get me wrong. Mmm. You know what my favorite thing is? Ranch. Did you guys ever know the side of Nina? Like, did you ever? Okay, ready? Dip it in. Mmm. Oh, the fries are good, too. What do you think of it? What'd you get? Show the camera. Mm. Crispy chicken sandwich? A spicy crispy chicken. It's not spicy, a little bit dry, but very good. It's good, huh? Yeah. You know what I really like about their bun? And I don't think I've ever had burger thing in my life. I only had it twice. You've only had it twice? Never say never, but to my recollection, you guys, I don't think I've ever had it. I really, these are the things I enjoy most about it. I love the bun. I think it's one of the best buns I've ever had, right? I like the cheese. I like the lettuce, the way they spread everything. The meat's not my favorite. I prefer the In-N-Out meat. Wow. It's just juicier. This to me seems a little bit dry. That's it. But otherwise it's really good. Mm. In comparison to McDonald's, what do you think? Mm. <laughs> Once you're done chewing. Mm. 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 Sorry about the way I'm eating. Um, I think, I would actually give this probably a 10 out of 10. Wow. No, wait, wait, I'll take it back. Nine out of 10, just because the meat is a little dry. But oh, I'll take this any day over McDonald's. And I'm not- Why? Why? Uh, I just think- is it, Does it taste like better or healthier or- It's not healthier. It tastes better. The McDonald's meat was really small. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? It was like, I know they give us two patties, but it was really small. And the whole burger experience was just really tiny. But I'm not hating on McDonald's. Like I, trust me, I'm not hating on anything. But in comparison, I would choose this because I like the bun more too. Okay, well, here's another comparison. Talk to me. This was double the price of McDonald's. What? Mm hmm. It's much more How expensive. How much was all this? Oh, here's the receipt. Hold on. And now the receipt's right here. Like 20 something. $20.25. 20 
that's expensive for fast food, I think. Right? I remember when it was like how, three dollars. How much? I mean, how are people supposed to afford this? Right? I didn't know this. I was shocked. I was like, what? Twenty dollars and twenty-five cents. That's a lot of money. Would I pay twenty dollars and twenty-five cents for this again? No. Would I? Would probably. But you do that for like you spend more on like restaurants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I spend a lot more on restaurants. Obviously, you know what so I mean. So why would you spend that and not spend twenty dollars on this? Because. With that, I have the experience of salads, soup. I know it's healthy. I know I'm putting good stuff in my body. Not that this is bad, do you know what I mean? But I'm just saying like, it's a whining and dining experience. For me, fast food, like I'm not about, for me, eating isn't about like, you know, just shoving whatever's in there. It's like, I don't really care. I'd like to the whole process of, let's start with the soup, then the salad, then the artichokes, then the pasta, then the chicken, you know, like that whole experience. Damn. <laughs> and then pizza it was a whole experience honey but this is actually really good i love the pickles too this is what i like most about this burger maybe it's the way they put the mayo with the lettuce it does look more organized it is a lot more organized and i'm telling you look at how big this is like that will fill you up okay i'm liking this experience so would i say nine nine and a half out of ten that's pretty high what do you think for you um you know, I don't like eating McDonald's, which I rarely do unless mm -hmm. like, I'm, I need to, because I feel like... Say it. I just feel like it's not, like, real. I've heard that, too. That might not be real meat. Have you heard that? Yeah, which I don't know how they can get around to that, but... But I understand that there's vegan meats. You I know? was going to get you the vegan... Or I was going to get you the, um, the famous... Um, the, the fake famous, meat one. Really? It was like fake, like the Impossible Burger. Really? You no, I would have preferred the meat. That's why I didn't get you. Yeah, that. no, thank you so much for that. No, I prefer the meat. But it's actually really, really, really good. You guys, what should I try next? Let me know. For sure, we're going to do Chick-fil-A. For sure, we're going to do Jack in the Box. Do you like Taco Bell better than this? I do. You guys, want to know low-key my secret? I have a new secret. Um, I've been craving Taco Bell. Yep. Yeah, Nina. Nina Gray, yours truly. Since he got me the Taco Bell. Like, like I caught myself. I'm on my phone looking at pictures of food from Taco Bell. I'm wondering what I'm going to get and wondering what he got from me that I like so much. You have texted me a few times about it. <clears throat> I have. It was so good. Mm -hmm. What did I rate it at? Was it um, 10 out of 10? I think you did give it a 10 out of 10. It's really good. So for all you Taco Bell lovers out there, come on, yo. Come on. Give me some love. Tell me what I should get when I go there next because I am going to go there. In yes. other countries, they have di it's different food. What? We had different, like Taco Bell serves different food. And I heard there's all this controversy in the Taco Bell um, community that they have taken away some foods that people really liked. Why did you watch that? I'm just reading my Taco Bell and treat my patients at work. Like, it's I'm true. obsessed. You, how, you, you know that? It's true, yeah. They took away, like, the Mexican pizza. And That's what things. they did. Why would they take that away? I watch, wanted to try it. Did you watch Ryland's new video? Because he talked about it. Really? Ryland's. No, I did not. I just read the gossip oh. in Google. There's a whole lot of gossip going on here. Where's my dessert, husband? The, 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 that's dessert enough, wife. Oh, there you go. Thank you, love. What do you guys like from Burger King? And what is your order? Comment down below. I just figured with all the sanitation we have. Is that even a word? I mean... Like, I wipe it with a tissue, right? What? I wipe it with a tissue. The only thing is, you guys, Taco Bell did not give me a stomachache. This did a little bit. Like, right now, I have a stomachache, so I'm going to take something from my stomach. And then McDonald's gave me a little bit of a stomachache. Mm -hmm. But Taco Bell didn't. How weird is that? Okay, Nick, I just thought of something. I want to try a restaurant. Have you ever... Mm. What? I was thinking that too today. Hmm? We should go to the Gucci restaurant. Oh! <gasps> you have to. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not sick. It just the ketchup went down my throat. I want to try that so bad. So let's go there. But also, everybody raves about Olive Garden. You keep talking about Olive Garden. I used to go there weekly. Okay, so when I was in Boston, I believe I went to an Olive Garden once with my roommates. Maybe once. I'm not sure. But everybody raves about it. Like my staff, they're like, Yum, Olive Garden, we're going this weekend. Everybody seems to love it. I don't have any recollection of it. 
and there's one by my work. That's why every time I'm driving and call my husband at lunch, I'm like, have you ever tried the Olive Garden? So now that you got me all of this new food experiences, let's go. The thing about that is, is you can take it to go. Yeah. But it's like more of an experience if you go there and sit. Really? Because like you sit, they offer you like, do you want a drink? You usually get like a margarita. Yum, husband. And then, or whatever you like. Or like actually usually wine, but I usually get margarita because I don't really love wine. But then they offer you like breadsticks or salad. Oh, which are you, both really good. Actually, they, no, they give you both. They give you both. But okay. you can choose between salad or a soup. <gasps> and then you. Get, I would choose like, salad. Me too. It's delicious. Endless. Really? Endless. Endless. Why haven't I been taking the girls there? And then you get feta ch or whatever like main course you get. What do you get? I usually get the fettuccine alfredo. I don't get any meat in it because I feel like the meat changes the flavor of the fettuccine. I I agree. I think fettuccine alfredo should just be by itself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I want to go. Have I want to get this spaghetti factory. I don't think so. It's twenty times better. But no, they're really good. Re where is that? I've never even seen one. They don't have many here. There's one near Disneyland and one in Duarte. Okay, let's try everything. But I really want to try. No, I'm not kidding. I've been wanting to try this because everyone raves about it. And I want the sticks. I want the salad. I want the whole experience. And right now, we can't dine in, right? Even patio style? They might yeah, have patio they, style. No, they do have patio So let's style. go patio style and film it. They're not going to let us film in there. Yeah, if, we, if we're sitting down, they'll let us film. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So who wants to see my husband, Nicola, and I going to the Olive Garden? Me. Me, me, I gotta go get some pills now. Okay, would you like to end the video, wife? Oh, you guys don't want to watch me have my Alka Seltzer. You know what? They're gonna yell at me and say, We want to see more of Nina, make the videos longer, so let's go get it, wife. Let's go, come on, husband. Let's go get this. Boom. So, Nina, yes, you know how we're doing Vlogmas? Yes, I haven't broke the news to you. No, tell me, tell me, tell me. What's up? Do you know, like, what vlogmas means? You vlog every day for Christmas. Oh, you use the right word, vlog. Vlog, exactly. So do you realize you're going to have to vlog your life? I'll do it. For you guys, I will do anything, okay? Leave a comment down below if you want me to do it. I know we've asked you before. I'm going to do it. I just haven't neglected it last year. That was her first year. I was with her. What do you guys want to see of us? No, it's like, it's literally you vlog what you're doing that day. So, like, on really? the 31st you would vlog and it would go up the first. The first you would vlog would go up on the second. Second, whatever. Apple seltzer, not sponsored. No, you gave me this before, I threw it up in your driveway. Oh yeah, you did. It was disgusting. And then now I have these like for my ear, you know how I had the ear problem? They gave me steroid drops that are actually opening up my ear. Great. No, I did a test. They said my hearing loss is great. I don't need to check it for 20 years. I'm not going deaf. But I really think it's because I have kids crying in my left ear. So you know what I'm doing now? I'm putting a little cotton. Oh, I'll never become a doctor. It's okay, you're married to a doctor. Oh, perfect. Okay, so you guys, I take Alka-Seltzer when my stomach is upset. Next time I think before I eat fast food, I should probably already start with it. Did you see Blair put her Supreme chair out of her room? Why doesn't she want it? I don't know. What? It took up so much space in her closet. Maybe that's what it was. We really need to fix this room. Should I just make it a guest room? I mean, it's literally almost there. You just need a mattress. I might be getting rid of mine. You can take mine. Really? Is it a queen? What is this? It's a queen. Yeah. Why are you getting rid of yours? I just want a new one. Okay. Or I might get a topper since we were talking about toppers with you and Blair. No, just get a mattress topper. Do you like your mattress? My mattress is the best. I you know. I should just sleep over more. You should just sleep over. You have uh, your eardrops in your neck. Oh, that's fine. My husband doesn't want to sleep with me. So I'm really trying to figure out what to do with that room. Should I? I don't need a style room. At first I thought I needed one. We don't. We don't. Like, I do everything in my bathroom. I don't want to keep moving stuff in and out, right? Mm -hmm. Here, let me take this before I get more sick. And then, um, should I do, like, a room with weights? Like, different kind of weights? But I also think that that's silly because once the gyms open up, it's better for me to go to the gym and actually use all the machines. Like, I've lost a lot of muscle elasticity ever since um, the gyms have been closed. I do my cardio, but I don't have muscle. It's okay, wife. I'm gonna go take this, you guys. I love you guys so, so, so much. I can't wait till my next food video. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram, Nina Gray, on TikTok, Chef Nina Gray. I love you all so much. And remember, always keep flossing.